All right, guys, it is morning, so about 5.15 a.m., and I am not in Nebraska anymore. I'm actually in Texas. I didn't do a vlog on the way here, but I'm with this dude, Lunkers TV. So I'm in Texas right now. We're gonna load up the boat and go fish Fork, right? Oh yeah, we're going to Fork. So we're going, good day. we're going to Fork, and we're gonna see if we can catch some, uh, catch some hogs. These are the three rods I'm rolling with today. I've got a flipping bait, spinner bait, and that's gonna be a weightless Senko. I'm at Bucky's. First time I've ever been here, and you guys can see the line of pumps goes all the way down. We counted, there's like almost 100 pumps. This is the most ridiculous gas station I've ever seen in my life. This is literally like a Walmart. All right, what should I get? I get tacos. Breakfast beast burrito. Sounds kind of good. Back in the truck, got my burrito croissant sandwich. And Rob back there is talking to people. So this is why you don't wrap your boat, because then everybody wants to talk to you, because they think you know how to catch fish. No, I'm just kidding. His wrap is freaking sweet. Two hours later. All right. Made it to the lake in the tackle shop. See if we can snag a few lures before we go out on the water. Update for you guys we are at the lake and we got a big storm rolling in. Super excited. So, uh, I don't know if we're gonna catch fish or not, but if we do, they might not be on camera. I've got the GoPro on, we've got some other GoPros strapped around the boat. But as you guys can see, it's it looks pretty bad out there. We heard there's some hail coming. I don't know. We're gonna we drove two hours, dude. We're we're gonna we're gonna rough it. If uh, if we end up getting some fish and not the video, I apologize. But that's just how it goes sometimes. But I came here to catch fish, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Just got the boat in the water. It's not looking too bad. Might have a couple hours of dry fishing, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I can get closer if you want. All right, good. All right, we're in the boat, boys. Go find some fish, huh? That's the plan. Oh, oh. We got a fish. Fish on, fellas. There we go. On the, ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's a good one, dude. It's a good one. Oh, it's a tank. Oh, it's a tank. Yeah, I'll grab him. Oh, dude, it is running. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Hey. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah, buddy. That. That's what's up. Right as it starts to rain. We got a big one. That's how it's done right there. Dude. That's so sick. There we go. Look at that. Gone. We got five pounds, 5.47? 5.47, 5 .5. baby. We'll take it. It's going back in the water. After I catch this fish. Oh, baby. You want to get it? Oh. After I catch this fish, we'll go and eat. Oh, oh shoot! Get her! Get her! Come on! Get her! I know I'm about to get on the water. Yes, son! Yes, son! Oh! Oh! That's what's up, dude! Just barely. Barely, oh, there you go. barely skinned. Dude, just caught this nice fish here. The mojo rig, it's a freaking beast. Look at this thing. Oh, that looks so good. Thing's a toad, man. Releasing the girl, see you later. All right, what you guys just missed God. was a hailstorm. You can't see it, but our hands are like blood red. All these boats are parking and like literally, the second we get to the boat ramp, it's freaking sunny outside. It was hailing, and I thought my hands were gushing blood, but we, so we had to get some food, is that what we're doing? Okay, we're gonna head and get some food, take a break after I caught that four pounder and, and get back after it, as long as the weather's decent. Right, walking in the Oak Ridge Resort, grab some food, and then if it's, yeah, you can see all the boats, all the boats lined up, and then we're gonna try to get back after and catch some more. 
It's real hot. It's real hot. You got chicken sandwich, onion rings, chicken sandwich, fries. Just get lunch. Leaving lunch and uh, it's looking a little windy still. No hail, that's good. It's always a good sign when there's not hail, but we're gonna see if we can get back after it and catch a few more. We're on the hunt for the double digit. Double digit. Double you need digit. a 10 pounder? Yeah. That would be uh, a... We got, we got a four and a half or so. We got a four, and, four and, a and a half and a five and a half. We need 10 pounder. Getting in the sexiest rig. Yep. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Oh God, he actually got me nervous. Did it. Rigging up the GoPros. That's a good one. Hey. <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on up here? All right, so. You, you break dancing at the fish? <laughs> I think that was some break dancing. What do you guys think? I think you're break dancing. How did that just happen? Dude, you just about took Our a bass duck. bass just went out of the water over the board, over the side of the boat, and back into the water. And then you almost went out. And I almost went out, so I boat flipped this thing twice. Twice I had to boat flip this. Twice. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's not, a, I mean, it's not a giant, but it's a good one. I'm bringing a tree in with him. Get out of here, boy. Oh, shh. I got her. <laughs> oh, boat flip fail, son. Uh, oh. I caught another one. Oh my my drag just slipped completely when I tried to lift him out of the water. So he just tried to boat flip this fish. And I failed miserably. I just about boat flipped this dude. Dude, the hooks, I'm telling you, I'm hooking them in the skin. That's how I think I'm missing these fish. Alright, so this dude just tried to boat flip this thing. Epic fish. I tried to boat flip it and I failed, but still got the fish. That's all it that. Alright, gonna release this guy. I mean, he's, what do you think? He's three. Yeah, three? He's a solid over three. Three and a half probably. See you later, little dude. Got one. Oh, good one. Is it a good one? Oh shoot! You want me to get her? Or you want it? Oh, oh my god! Big fish. Oh, hey, I'm coming. Where you at? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. son. It's a psycho. Rob here, just caught another one. We're gonna weigh this guy. That's at least five. Nice looking like chunk right there. 5.07. Alright, get one pick for snapping, then one good pick. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna put her back. Alright, put her back. Five pounder. Look at that. Get in there, baby. There she goes. It's a good one. All right, guys. So the day is over, and I'm gonna go over the lure that we were using. We tried a few different things. We tried flipping. We tried throwing spinner baits. Nothing really worked, especially for the big fish, except for this rig right here. And this is called the Mojo rig. And this is something I've never actually thrown before. And um, I was taught this today. And what it is is we got a 16th ounce peg tungsten weight uh, with about 8 to 12 inches of length in between that and the hook. And then we have a 4i EWG hook with a watermelon red Senko. And that was the rig that we had. And I was throwing that on a 7.2 medium heavy. Uh, this was an extra fast rod with a 7 to 5 uh, to 1 gear ratio loose reel. And this was 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. It was the Invisex fluorocarbon. And so that was the lure that we were using. Basically all we were doing was we were just flipping around bushes and uh, just kind of dragging it real slow, almost like you would a Carolina rig, but trying to, trying to target those bigger uh, female bass that were not quite shallow, but that were a little bit off the bank. And so now, Lunkers TV, he's gonna go over the location on the lake that we, the pattern that we followed on the lake to catch the fish today. All right guys, so we're gonna go over why we chose this area. We were targeting fish that were in transition up to spawn. Uh, we were thinking most of the bigger females are gonna be coming off the main lake points. So we chose these areas right here. Uh, you'll notice we've got flats that come in, and you'll see these drains that come in off these flats. Um, all your bigger fish, they're going to start from the main lake, and they're going to come from the main lake, and they're basically going to hug that wall as they go up through the drains. And they're going to—they're not going to push all the way deep, far back into the creeks just yet when they're in that transition mode. So they're going to be sitting between five to ten foot of water, and we were catching all our bigger fish today in about six to seven foot of water. 
So when you when you just look when you're looking at your map, you want to make sure you're looking at the flats, the main lake flats, and the drains that come off of them, and then target those areas. Twelve o'clock midnight. What do you have to say about today? It's a good day. Tomorrow tomorrow should be better though. We got Hector coming in. So, good day on the water, caught big fish with him. If you haven't subscribed to him, go follow him on YouTube. It's uh, Lunkers TV. link in the description. I am currently charging up all the GoPros, three GoPros there, and I'm filming with the camera too that I need to charge up and transferring footage. But we're getting ready for tomorrow. Hector's coming in. I don't know for any of you fishing guys, I haven't met him yet, but you're gonna meet him tomorrow. So get pumped for vlog number two of Texas. What are we going to call this series? Whoopin' on Flare. Whoopin' on Flare? He whooped on me. So we're going to call it Vlog 2 of Whoopin' on Flare, coming up next. Hey!